Hi everyone, welcome to another video showing you how to play the tunes in the Guitarist Way Book 1. Today, page 5. There's a whole bunch of tunes on page 5 and we learn a new written note. It is C. C, of course, is played on string number 2 at fret number 1. And in these early stages, and actually most of the time, we use finger 1 for the C. Try to avoid using finger 2 or 3 or 4 at this stage. So the first tune on the page is folk song. There is a repeat sign, so you'll hear me play this tune through twice. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We go. Next, two more tunes that are part of the quartet, that's to say the four parts that make up the Drunken Sailor backing. Number nine, it's got C's and B's in it, and it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Number 10, same two notes, just slightly more complicated rhythm, a mixture of one beat notes and two beat notes. We've got one, two, three, four, and... Next, a little bit of scale practice in up from G, number 11, you've got four notes, G's, then A's, then B's, string two, and then that new note, C. On some guitars, C is quite hard to press. Take your time building it up. If it sounds a bit muffled at first, don't worry, keep practicing. Your finger gets a bit tougher if you practice a little bit every day. And gradually, hopefully, it'll start sounding more clear. So here's number 11 up from G. One, two, three, four. scales the faster your fingers will become the better you'll find your left and right hands can work together and that's the beauty of guitar playing it improves your coordination yeah coordination of course for those of you that don't know is how in this case how well your left and right hands work together now finally the fiddler now the thing about the fiddler is it gives me a chance to talk about time signatures at the beginning of most tunes I won't say you always see them in every piece of music, you certainly don't, but most tunes you'll see two numbers written one above the other. And actually if I shift this over you'll be able to see really clearly that here I'm talking about the two and the four. Now the two in this case means two beats per bar. That means you're going to count two in every beat. So if I look at this first bar it's going to go one, two. Yes, one, two. 
But even in the next bar where we've got a two beat note, we'd still count one, two. It's almost like there's an invisible beat there. So two, four means two beats per bar. If you saw a three, it'd be three beats. If you saw a four, it'd be four beats. Five, five beats and six, six beats, etc. And you do sometimes see seven, four and sometimes even, well, let me think, 11, four is not that uncommon. Okay, so look out for that. And here we go with this lovely tune. The other thing you may notice is that there are some beat marks. I'm going to bring this back again so you can see. These beaks, as I call them, or spikes. This is a crescendo mark. That means that from about here, start getting gradually louder as you go to the end of this first line. And you see there's another one at the end of the second line as well. And the way I teach this when I teach in schools is I say this tune starts quite quiet and gets gradually louder, stays loud and gets even louder. So with a count of two, here we go. One, two. And there you have it, page five in the book. See you soon for another guitar video. Have a great day and thanks for watching.